Oh yeah, all right. Um, I just um, I'd, I'd uh, a bit of logic to ask all the listeners, the audience. Imagine this, right? Imagine that eighteen months ago. Imagine you went to um, to your kiddie's school and uh, you pulled the headmistress or the headmaster aside and you you said to them, "Look, I'm really worried about." Um, infectious diseases and uh, especially ones that have got a 99.74% recovery rate so the headmistress headmaster looks at you and thinking are you what what, what are you worried about a, a, a disease that might have a 99.74% recovery rate so they say right and you say look this is what I want you to do with my my kitty right I want you to, they've got to wear a mask. I'm going to send them in with a mask all day, okay? Covering up their mouth and their nose. They're not allowed to take it off, except only only when they're eating. They're not allowed to take it off. Um, I'm going to give them a bottle of hand sanitizer at all times, and they're to sanitize their hands every time they touch something or someone. Um, they are to wash their hands every hour without fail or every time they've touched something or someone they are to um, not to hold hands with anybody um, sports are not exempt from the time that they put this mask on it's literally only for for when they're eating um, or drinking and uh, I want you to get their desk and I want you to make sure that all students are two meters away from my child constantly and um and i want you to keep telling my child that there's a deadly virus around keep reminding them to be very careful because there's a deadly virus going around that's that's got a 99.74 percent recovery rate right what do you think the headmaster would have said or the headmistress what do you think their answer would be would they say Excuse me, uh, madam, don't you think this is a bit, um, a bit over the top for this disease you're telling us about that's evidently got this 99.74% uh, recovery rate? Don't you think this is a bit OTT? You say, no, it's not OTT. You must take these measures. It's compulsory for you to take these measures. If I leave my child in your care, it's compulsory. There's no, there's no bending. That's it, it's compulsory. So, her mum says, right, okay, um, well, I'm just going to talk to uh, my staff about this and uh, we'll get back to you, madam. So when you've fucked off with your crazy idea, right, because it is a crazy idea, um, the headmaster or headmistress, they, they get their deputy in and they get their safeguarding officer in. And they go, this parent came in saying these things. I think we should be really concerned. And uh, we should, um, there's a risk of emotional harm to these children. What do you think we should do? I know, next phone call. Let's ring the social up and um, and tell them to raise some con that we've raised some concerns because this parent seems a bit fucking nutty. They're saying, you know, they want their kid to come in with a mask, uh, full time, only removed for eating, drinking. They want their kid two meters away from everyone. They want us to constantly remind them that there's this deadly virus that's got a ninety nine point seven four percent recovery rate, and. Uh, you know, we're really concerned. These these kids are being like they're being brainwashed, <laughs> right? Now, this is what they're doing to you. Can you not see this? Can everybody see this? Let's get on an energetic level. This needs to be cancelled because I am down to earth, and you know, I will say it how it is. And sometimes I swear, and sometimes I get a little bit excited about it all. But the thing is, is I'm very much in tune 
with the energetics of everything and i do understand the the spiritual and the which is basically the unseen energetics of everything so really all this short very short video is about is about triggering you to realize what you are actually complying with and it's not funny and um it's it's absolutely ludicrous it's crazy um oh and i didn't mention that the parent also said that um they're going to test their child three times a week for this infectious disease with um that also hasn't ever been isolated there's no proof of its existence and um and the tests that they're going to use are completely inaccurate and also that the government reports of this disease um, that they report from an organization called Public Health England, uh, they produce reports called NOID, N-O-I-D-S, NOID reports, notifications of infectious diseases. So gov.uk search bar NOIDs, okay. How many cases do you think there was for week ending the 14th of March, week 10 of 2021. How many cases? Answers on a postcard, but I'm gonna tell you the answer now. The answer is 26 cases for all of England and Wales. Just 26 cases. So there's another disease in this report, just underneath. It's called Campylobacteriosis. How many cases of Campylobacteriosis do you think there were in week 10, 2021? I'll tell you, 34. Do you know what Campylobacteriosis is? It's the shits. So more people have got the shits than COVID. <laughs> So-called COVID, because remember it's not been isolated and we have no proof that it exists. But more people have got the shits. So um, happy Thursday, people. Um, please think about what you're doing and you really need to stand in your being now and um, wake up because um, this this really is beyond now it really is beyond and um, no one can sit on the fence anymore you have to make a choice really because lots of people are saying they just want it to end well, it can't end if you keep imagining it in. So you have to imagine it gone in, if, 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 you, uh, if you get my meaning. So you have to go in and imagine it to be gone. And, imagine, and, and the way you imagine it to be gone is by imagining something else within heart. So this is um, really what we need to do. So yeah, imagine that. More people have got the shits. I'll leave it at that. Take care. Speak soon. Bye.